Hello everyone, TF Calm and Butters here to greet you for my new video. You sleepy. Now, um, usually my videos are simply updates of how my day has been. Lately I have been doing actual videos, but do not count on that all the time. Now, this video will be 10 things transgender men hate to hear. Um, I'll use my own experience for these as well as other people's that I know. Um, oh, hate to hear are things that they just hate in general. So number one will of course be hot days. Heat is a killer for a trans male. Because binders are just another extra layer you have to wear. And binders, um, people who do not know, or basically a um, undershirt that is extremely tight, usually to the point where you leave a big sweaty mess and red scarring and everything. But it constricts your breast so that they are not visible. So they are very, very painful. Um, and in heat, you can imagine how worse they, how much worse they are. Um, so the second thing is people who try to tell you what to do like oh you're a girl now um this is what girls wear or since this is about men well men men do the power tools men build the cars if you're a man you need to know how to do this if you're a man you know how to do that or you're not a real man unless blank <sighs> our personality and what we're interested in will not change just because we gain a penis um the third one that one will oh geez this is one is where someone in your family or extremely close friends still call you she an excuse they use is, well you don't correct me anymore so you must not have a problem with it um well, we don't correct you anymore because you're not learning anyway, so what's the point? Believe me, whenever you say the wrong pronoun, it hurts more than any stranger ever would. So please, don't do the whole, well, they don't care thing, because we do. We care a lot. We just don't want to irritate you by keep on complaining. Um, yes. So the fourth one would be, um, you're so lucky. We get told all the time, um, especially ones on hormones, man, you're so lucky, um, you don't have to do periods anymore. Well, yeah, that is great that we don't have to anymore, but, I mean, we're not lucky to have ever had them because we were born with female organs, and that's definitely not what we want. That's not lucky. Um... The next one, uh, for those who don't have hormones, or even those who are just starting hormones, periods. This is the worst thing ever for a transgender male. Not only the pain, but the reminder that you are still a girl, physically. And that hurts more than anything, because you can't even look at yourself in the mirror. I mean, here you are opening a pad and stuff and it's just extremely um embarrassing to yourself you know it's like the universe is saying ha just when you thought you were a boy here's this um let's see where are you going i can actually sit up now <gasps> okay um the fifth one is People who are gay and they try to date you, like lesbians. They say you're the best of both worlds. I have the appearance of dating a man, but I gotta have sex with a woman. Run away from these people. It's something you hear a lot. Um, no, if you're dating me, you're dating a man. It's not the appearance of a man. It's not anything like that. You are dating a man. Um... Let's see, the sixth one. Six, um... That is the people who try it, who think they know more than you. 
like, oh, well, um, transgender actually means this, or you're not really trans unless you do this, or um, I've had people be like, no, transgender and transsexual mean the same thing. It's like, no, they don't. Like, here's the dictionary definition. No, they mean the same thing. Um, I think I would know more than you about this. It's kind of a big thing. I mean, it's almost like walking up and say male and female mean the same thing. You know, if you're not one of us, you don't know it. Even if you are one of us, then you know, then you can start saying things, but accept that some people may be more educated about it than you. Or Oh, great, the typical for six, uh, for seven. Oh, I have a trans friend. Do you know them? They also do this with gays. Um, it's like, oh, well, I have a, a trans friend. His name is Frank, oh, but used to be Susie. We don't care what they used to be, first of all. It's what they are now. That's all that matters. Second of all, we don't all know each other. And third of all, you just outed your friend. So if I did happen to know him, uh, now I know he's trans. I mean, like, maybe he didn't want to share that with people. So you, you're kind of a dick. I mean, why would you, why would you do that to your friend? I thought they were your friend, you know? That's kind of a dick move. Um, let's see. Number eight, the all dreadful... Um, if you don't have a dick, you're not a man. If you have a dick, you're a man. <coughs> mm. Um, yeah. Biological sex is dealt by, um, your genitals. Your male, female are intersex, which is the new term for hermaphrodite. Meaning you have both. Um, okay. Yes, biologically, I am female. But, in every other way, I'm male. Emotionally, mentally, um, socially, um, let's see, in my heart, I am male. Uh, basically, every way except physical, I am a male. So, would you rather fix all those issues? Or just fix the one small one, the physical? Um, then the dreaded number nine. <sighs> you chose to be trans. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's roll with that one for a minute. Be a girl right now. Be a girl. I'll wait. Why aren't you a girl yet? You said you could choose. Choose to be a girl. Go. Now you see where I'm at. Um, yes, you can. Um, you can dress in girls' clothes and stuff and act like and act like a girl. Call yourself a girl for a day or so, maybe even a week. But sooner or later, you're gonna absolutely hate it. Because you're not a girl. And with trans, it's the same way. Um, believe us, um, I can speak for probably at least 99%, if not even 100%. We tried to be girls. It didn't work. Um, in fact, most of us had multiple coming out stories. I came out when I was 14, told everyone I was a boy, because I am. Um, was traded awfully for it for about two years, and then I went back in the back in the closet, as they say. I started wearing girl clothes and saying, "Oh yeah, I'm a girl. I was just kidding." And then I spent about another year or so after that um, as a girl, and then a year or so after that. Um, I call myself gender fluid, which is where sometimes you feel more masculine and sometimes you feel more feminine. But essentially, you are a mix of both genders. Um, and yes, there are real gender fluids out there. And I thought I was one for a while, but I was not. 
I was a trans in denial. So Nile's not just a river in Egypt. I actually said that right. Um, yeah. So then, you know, then I came back out as trans. And people are saying, why are you on hormones so early, you know? You've only been out for a year. And it's like, to you, I may have only been out for a year. To me, I've been out for whew, six years. So, I've been pretty sure I'm a boy. Um, sometimes I thought I was a boy and a girl, but I've always been sure I'm a boy. So, um, let's see, and then, number ten, I actually had a video about this. You don't have to be straight because you're trans. And if you are dating a girl, you are in a straight relationship. Or, you could be bi, of course, but... If you were dating a man, you are in a homosexual relationship. It's not like if you start dating a girl, they're like, Oh man, so you're a lesbian now? No. Date a man. So you're gay? Oh, yeah, um, so you're straight now? No. <laughs> That's not how it works, you know? It's like, my gender doesn't change just because of who I date. Um that doesn't work that way I mean if you if you thought I was straight and I'm dating a man then my sexuality is news to you but my gender doesn't change it doesn't do that that would be way too um, weird first of all second of all it would be too simple like if person you're dating influences you that much then I mean they'd have so much power over you you probably say anything and you would do it because they have power over you enough to change your gender. But that's not how it works. <laughs> if someone's telling you to change your gender for them, then you need to be out of that relationship immediately. Because that is not a good relationship. At all. Ever. So. Mm. They do. Why don't you just be a lesbian? Or why don't you just be... Um, why don't you just be straight? Believe us, we wish we could change our gender. Uh, so many people will do the whole, um, well, you're a trans man, but you like girls, so why don't you just be a lesbian? Or, I am a, um, a trans man who likes guys. Um, I do like some girls, and I am pan in that way, but I definitely prefer guys. Um... And they're like, well, why would you change then? If you were a girl, it'd be so much easier for sex and stuff. And you wouldn't have to worry about being judged in public. Or even if you want to look like a man and stuff, you know, still keep your boobs and vagina and stuff for sex. What? 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 Hello, random stranger. Thank you for diving into my sex life. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ease is never why we do this, believe us. It'd be so much easier um, if we weren't trans and we were just born in the right body. Or we, you know, we were accepted who we were born as or whatever. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier. But that's just not how it is. Um, we can't change that. Huh. Believe us, we wish we could. We wish we could blink and be waking up in our perfect body. Yay! Yay! Everyone cheer for me. Yay! Dreams, magic, fantasy. But no. That's not how life works. And as much as we want it to work that way, it doesn't. We cannot be female. As much as we try, we cannot. Um, I mean, you cannot help who you love either, so... If you love a girl, then you're straight. If you love a man, then you're gay. And of course, both of those could be bi or pan or anything else as well. But, I mean... We can't... I mean, it's not a choice. If I wanted to... I can't just wake up tomorrow and be like, I'm straight. Mmm, look at all those hot girls over there. Mmm, guys are ucky, no. Why don't you try that? 
wake up one day, decide that you are now a female, first of all, and that you only like guys. Go ahead. Go. You can't do it. A regular cisgender man, and I would hate to say regular because, like, we're not regular, um, a cisgender man cannot open his eyes one day and say, boom, I'm a woman. Boom, I like guys, which means I'm straight. I mean, unless, of course, that guy already liked guys, you know. But he cannot wake up and change his sexuality or gender. That's just not how life works. <laughs> Believe us, we wish we could go to, like, some Sims creator page, you know, create a Sim and be like, hmm, swap gender. Ooh, I could have this hairstyle, I could have this and this. I wish life was that easy. You don't have any idea how many times I've fantasized about that as a little kid. You know, just push your button and be like, boom, now I'm blonde. Boom, now I have um, a leather jacket. Boom. You know, now I'm six foot. Oh, man, I would love to be six foot. Nope. I am a shorty. I am 5'1". I am the shortest short to ever short. <laughs> well, I feel like I went on a big rant at the end, but I want to keep this video short since my old one was so long. So this is 10 plus things that trans men hate to hear. Um, are hate. Ten, ten plus things transgender men hate. Now, of course, I can't speak for the whole community, blah, 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 da, 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 you know, the, the little tiny script at the bottom, da, 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 da. Please do not sue me. I am but a poor man. Huh. <laughs> well, I will... Keep you guys updated another time. I know I mentioned I would add a lot more about my trip, uh, my volunteer experience, but I've been really, really busy. Like I have a bunch of homework due tomorrow, um, which is why I'm making the video so early in the day. And I just did laundry and everything else. Um, it's actually really late for my Tuesday videos because of my laundry. I get to have clean clothes. Yay! Yay! I really need a catchphrase or something, which I would love if you guys came up with. Um, or since it's Halloween, everyone's doing Dark Applier and anti septic Eye. I would love if there was um, something for me. Um, maybe my auntie's female. No, um, I... Uh, but love all of you guys and thank you so much for watching my channel all the time and well cats knock something over so i'm gonna have to check that out tfcom signing off bye